Hello guys, welcome to today's class. What we'll be looking at another example under combination method as we use it to solve binomial theorem questions. Now, in this example, we have a sum of two values which whose power whose whose power of their sum is what is a fraction. So how do we now simplify something like this where we have p plus q is power one over two? The only method we can still use here is our combination method and then we use the same principle we used in the negative index in the negative um, pattern so that's the same thing we do here we have a fraction as our power which is 1 over 2 that will be our total power so we have 1 over 2 combination 0 and then we have p raised to power 1 over 2 and then q raised to power 0 for our first term because p will take the total power q will take 0 but in this particular question we're told uh, we, we should we have to clearly state each of the values to the fourth term. That means whatever we do here, we are expanding to the fourth term in this case. So we need to follow through to the fourth term. So this is the first term. For the second term now, we have 1 over 2 combination 1. This will be p raised to power 1 over 2 minus 1. Then q raised to power 1. Plus the next term which will be 1 over 2, combination 2, which will be P, raised to power 1 over 2, minus 2, Q, raised to power 2. Plus, the, the fourth term, which will be taken now, which is 1 over 2, combination 3, P, raised to power 1 over 2, combination minus 3, then Q, raised to power 3. So we have taken the four terms. We can, I've taken the four terms. We can now simplify. From our knowledge of combination, we know this is one over two factorial over one over two minus zero factorial zero factorial. We have p raised to power one over two. Q raised to power zero is one. Moving on, we have one over two factorial for one over two minus one factorial. 1 factorial, and we have p, you know, 1 over 2 minus 1 gives us a value of minus 1 over 2, and then we have q raised to 1, we have plus, we have 1 over 2 factorial over 1 over 2 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial, then I have p, 1 over 2 minus 2, which is minus 3 over 2, then q squared. Moving on, we have plus the final term that we're taking, which is 1 over 2, 1 over 2 factorial over 1 over 2 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. Where we have p raised to power minus 5 over 10, q raised to power 3. From here, we can simplify further to say this becomes 1 over 2 factorial over 1 over 2 factorial times 1, p raised to power 1 over 2. This cancels out. We move on, we have this is 1 over 2. From our knowledge of combination, you can see 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1. We are going to stop here because we have seen something we can use to cancel at the denominator side. So this cancels out this. We are left with q over p is power 1 over 2. From our knowledge of indices, plus the next term, we have. 1 over 2, we have 1 over 2, 1 over 2 minus 1, we have 1 over 2 minus 2 factorial, all over 1 over 2 minus 2 factorial times 2. Where we know that what's our value here will now be q squared over p raised to the power theory. Over 2. 
So this is what we have here. So now we can simplify for that. Plus the first term. So this, these are the first three terms. For the last term, they were, they were solving plus. In this case, we have 1 over 2 into bracket. 1 over 2 minus 1. We'll be stopping at 1 over 2 minus 3. So you can cancel out the required value. Stopping here. So I have to cancel out with 1 over 2 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial here giving us 6. Then we know from indices, we can express this as Q raised to the power 3 over P raised to the power 5 P raised to the power 5 over 2. Now that we have done this, to simplify this, we can break it down further to see this cancels this and then this also cancels this. Giving me a straight value of period per 1 over 2 for the first term. For the second term, I'll be left with just 1 over 2 here. And then 1 over 2 Q over P is per 1 over 2. Plus the next term, which is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 here, which is minus 1 over 2. All over 2 times Q over P is part theory over 2 plus the final term here, which is 1 over 2, into bracket, 1 over 2 minus 1, which is minus 1 over 2, and 1 over 2 minus 2, which is minus theory over 2. All over 6 times Q cube over P to the power 5 over 2. Don't forget your ellipses to show that what you can keep on solving more terms. And then here, I can bring this one to us. You say this is P to the power 1 over 2 plus Q over 2P is power 1 over 2. Breaking this down, we know 1 over 2 times minus 1 over 2. All divided by 2 will be minus Q over 8P is power 3 over 2. Okay, plus, you know, when we multiply this, we have 1 over 2 times minus 1 over 2. That's minus 1 over 4. So, we are having we are having minus 1 over 4 times minus theory. Minus 1 over 4 times minus theory over 2. All divided by 6. Which will be giving us 1 over 16, I guess. Okay. In this case, we'll be having theory over 8. That's theory over 48, which is 1 over 16. So, 1 over 16 times Q. We have Q cube. We are having Q, Q cube over 16 P is power 5 over 2. So this should be Q. That should be Q square. So this should be Q square. So let's not make the mistake. This one is Q cube. So now that we have this, this should become so plus what? Plus ellipsis. To show that all their other terms. So this is where we call it a day. And then this is our final answer. The next class we'll be looking at. And that example, and now we can actually explain the combination method. Questions where we can actually use to actually apply the combination method to solve binomial theorem. So see you next class. Have a nice day.